Next up is an exciting a project we've been working on for uh, already almost one and a half years is that we saw a huge opportunity for IoT uh, 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 on the seas, on, on ships. Uh, and we're working with companies like Norsi on asset tracking uh, and uh, condition monitoring uh, uh, through our partnership with uh, Williamson Shipping. And um, together uh, we built many use cases and provided Williamson Shipping with a platform to, to, to run their IoT applications um, and to, 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 to showcase that um, we created a, a, a little video. At any given moment, 78,000 merchant vessels are operational around the world shipping cargo. Even the smallest efficiency gains in routes, maintenance planning, and goods management can have a massive impact. Reducing CO2, operational costs, and delivery times. Data is critical in finding these inefficiencies. Whether it's data about the condition of onboard equipment, crew safety, in-transit vehicles, or locations of onshore assets. To gather relevant data, we need to fit sensors to assets, which send their readings to centralized or distributed control systems to make informed decisions. These can be thousands of sensors per ship or per port. In most cases, wiring these sensors is not an option because they're moving or because it's simply too expensive. In these cases, wireless is the way to go. Until now, wireless data collection in maritime supply chains has been a challenge as these harsh environments are not friendly to many radio frequency technologies. We solve this by using the latest radio frequency technologies. Wilhelmsen brings all of this together with its IoT for the Seas platform the new maritime standard for sensors, connectivity, and data handling that can meet the demands of its industry. The standards of this platform are open and the technology is proven. So suppliers can easily develop sensors and solutions that are relevant to the maritime industry and its customers. Join the IoT for the Seas now. Nice. Yeah, this is uh, this is super cool, and there's so many opportunities here. And um, yeah, the uh, the entire ecosystem is invited to join uh, join this and 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 to explore all the problems that can be solved uh, in the maritime industry using uh, uh, Laura Wen. Um, uh, we have with us now uh, uh, John uh, uh, Ulstein. Uh, and uh, from uh, Williamson Shipping, and he's, uh, he's going to tell us more about uh, the IoT for the seas. Thanks, Vinke and Johan, for having me here. As you may know, Williamson is one of the largest provider of maritime services in the world. In the last year, we have increased our digital activities, including drones, 3D printing, autonomous ships, among others. We have worked closely with Semtech and the Things Industry to embed LoRaWAN into our business and have successfully tested and deployed pilots on board ships, in ports and on mainland. The wireless LoRaWAN replaces expensive wiring allowing us to extend our service and application using low-cost battery operated devices. LoRaWAN is performing exceptionally well in exposing data from hard to get places. The recent addition of 2.4 makes it suitable to deploy in our global operation. In the past year we have experience with asset tracking, condition monitoring and numbers of other use cases. The result has been so overwhelming that we have decided to launch our new service platform IoT of the seas. Together with device makers and application developers, such as the audience here today, we offer our customer access to the digital global LoRaWAN ecosystem. Make sure to check into the talk marked Maritime to see how we do it. Thank you. Yeah, 
for sure check out uh, the uh, the track on Maritime uh, and already see what kind of cool applications that uh, that are there. So this is also an invitation, right, to the community, the developer community watching now to build solutions and applications. For sure, for sure. And there are so many opportunities in this industry that's just literally unbelievable. Yeah.